Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X on a blank hard drive on your MacBook Pro. Um, this should work for any MacBook. They've all got the internet recovery utility. So you don't need a flash drive or anything, you just need a Wi-Fi connection. So just turn the Mac on. And as soon as the screen comes on, hold down on the Command key and the R key at the same time on the keyboard. Just keep holding those down until something comes up. And now we've got this here starting internet recovery. So now I'm just going to pick my Wi-Fi network. Now that it's connected, it's going to load a little bit and then it's going to start a setup process. So what this does on the whole is it's actually going to download uh, Mac OS X from the internet and then install it to your hard drive without any need for a uh, install DVD or flash drive. So that's super cool and way useful. All right, so that takes us all into OS X utilities. And you're just gonna wanna go to this right here, and reinstall OS X. Double click on that or just click on it and hit continue. Um, now this is gonna install Mountain Lion. So it's gonna verify your eligibility, basically make sure that it really thinks this is an actual Mac and then download it and install it. Agree to the terms. Agree again. All right, now if you get this message, the drive may just be formatted incorrectly. So just go back. And actually, if you just hit Command and Q, it'll close out of that and go into Disk Utility. All right, we can see here, this is the hard drive we're trying to install it to. It's a, w, it's a Western Digital hard drive. So it clearly shows up, so it's working, um, but it says it's unformatted right down here. Let's just go to Erase. We want it set to Mac OS X Extended Journal. Hit Erase and Erase again. Now that's gonna format and partition the drive as it needs. And then when we go back and try to install, it's gonna actually work this time. All right, so once you're done there, just hit Command and Q again to close out of that and go back into Reinstall OS X. And this time when it asks you where you want to install OS X, you've got this icon of a hard drive. Just click on that so it's highlighted and hit Install. Now, mine's bugging me to plug into a power source. Really, that is a good idea. Um, I'm going to watch my power like a hawk. It's at 39% right now. If it gets too low, I am going to plug it in. But honestly, in general, you should plug it in when it's doing this. It's not good if it dies while it's installing. Hit continue. And now it's going to go through and install OS X Mountain Lion. Once that's finally done, it's gonna actually restart and get to this new screen saying installing OS X on the disk. That'll probably take another 20 minutes or so. Eventually you'll get to this screen saying installation complete and it'll start a countdown to restart your computer or you can just click on restart now to do it yourself. And now it's gonna restart. And now it's just the general Mac setup, pretty much the same thing you would have got when you first bought it. Select your country, your keyboard layout, and your internet. Then it's gonna ask if you wanna transfer information to this Mac. You've got the option from another Mac, from a Windows PC, from another disc. For this, we're just gonna hit not now. And then it's just down to general preference things. And that's it. It's all restored and ready to use. All right, guys, well, if you liked this video, give me a like. If you disliked it, hit the dislike and let me know in the comments why. Otherwise, if you really liked it, get subscribed. That really helps me a lot. Thanks for watching.